what's your opinion on Kevin Samuel saying that chick was average? She is, that was his opinion. She asked him. Shout out to Kevin Samuels. She asked him. She called in. She's your opinion. You average. You average, you average. Like he said, there's nothing wrong with being average. Mostly, most people are average. Most people are average. Why you think women want to make men less masculine nowadays? That's a whole nother thing, topic for a whole nother day, bro. So I'd be here all day. With that, basically, it's almost like a... I don't want to say spiritual thing, but there's a war going on with the genders, and it's not a conscious thing. And it's to shout out to Rolo Tomasi, Tomasi because he talked about this. Uh, I don't know if it was in his book or whatever, but he talked about this. It's basically a subconscious war for mating rights. Who controls mating? if you understand what I'm saying who controls mating mating is the most important thing this is how this is how the, 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 the species sorry this is how the species continues if we don't mate everything stops the world stops so it's basically a control over mating and right now there's no balance feminism did that what we're doing right now this manosphere thing is what feminism was doing a hundred years ago. It's a small group of people spreading their word and spreading their word and it's grown to what it is now. What happens is throughout time and history, feminism became more corrupt and, and cancerous and this is why you have the non-balance that it is today. Um, but they want to make men less masculine because when men are masculine, men are in control. And when men are in control, they control the economy, they control the courts, they control the child support system. They control politics. And I think they fear subconsciously a day where women, women don't have rights. Because being honest with you, back then from the 1900s, like that really wasn't balanced. It wasn't balanced to shut out people, to shut out uh, uh, women economically completely. They can't compete. They have to depend on that's not balanced. So, and, you know, the world ba eventually balanced itself out. And, you know, it went on and on and on. And now we have a, 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 a world that's not balanced. You know? Let's see. Well, man, my woman ain't, I feel like I'm being played by my chick. You feel like you're being played by your chick. How do you, how is she playing you? Right, I'm saying the backlash from him calling her average is his example. This is because women almost want, they all like, they devalue men so much nowadays. And this is all feminism. This is feminism work. Even if a woman claims not to be a feminist, a feminist, which many women don't claim to be feminist, they still have the ideology of feminist. This is feminist work. These are feminist writings. Just like in 10 years, the shit that we talking, most guys ain't gonna call themselves red pill, but the work we putting down, it's gonna come from this. So this is what feminism is. It's, it's like I say, most women don't call themselves feminism, feminists but they have the ideology. This is a feminist ideology. If you go read feminist books, it talks about thinking this way. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, I done been there, done that back in the days. But um, <clears throat> they feel like you're beneath them. On a comment um, on my Facebook, well, not my Facebook, but a guy put my shit on Facebook and kind of blew up. It probably got like a half a million views now on Facebook. That's crazy. <laughs> Um, my TikToks and a woman made a comment saying uh, the disrespect in his tone without me asserting myself and teaching other men to assert themselves because I don't I make sure on TikTok I'm not calling women bitches I make sure I'm not being disrespectful and because I don't want that to be a person's argument like I'm very strategic with the way I say certain things. I know how to say things to get conversations. I know how to purposely omit things 
so people can say, so it can spark something that people don't want to have a conversation about it. So I'm very careful about how I word my things, right? I'm very meticulous like that. Um, so this chick, I went on a tangent. I kind of forgot what I was saying. I'm going to go back. The chick was saying, um, oh, okay, yeah. In my, in my thing, I wasn't being disrespectful. But her comment was basically that I had a disrespectful tone. This is because I was asserting myself and standing up for myself. And this is what I was teaching men to do. Pretty much stand up for yourself. And to her, she this was real dead. And this comment had like two, 300 likes on it, I think. Maybe 150, 200 likes on it. And a, com- a bunch of comments like agreeing with her. And I commented, fellas, this is the space where we in. Well, women value so you so much that the fact that you're asserting yourself is disrespectful for, is disrespectful to them. This is how much they look down on you. They look at you like a child. Just like if you have a kid, all my partners in here with kids know that when a kid assert, your, assert themselves to you, it's almost disrespectful to you as an adult. If a kid asserts himself and say, hey, I'm, I don't want to eat my dinner, and, and he's assertive in what he wants, that's offensive to offensive to an adult this is how this is how women are looking at men now my dude this is not balanced this is the reason why i do this that's no that's not balanced when you have a society where when you have a society where women are looking at men who assert themselves and stand up for themselves as disrespectful that's very dangerous it is going to be illegal if we don't stop this shit this is why i ask y'all to share it Share your turn to turn your partners on. Share the game. Share the game. Share the game. If we don't stand up and stop this shit, it is going to be illegal. Like we gonna be barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen with no economic opportunity. This shit is real. This ain't no game. All of this is to control mating. To who who gets to mate? Who gets to have control over mating? You see what I'm saying? It's a power struggle, but it's not a power struggle like a physical one. That's how, it's not spiritual. I don't want to take it there, but it's it's all like I, it's it's hard to explain. But it's a, a, a real power struggle over the gender, and it has gotten so unbalanced to where Kevin Samuel saying what he said is dis. They really believe that that's disrespectful. See what I'm saying? Because how dare he say that to her? She's the queen. You're a peasant. How dare you say that to to him? psychological power struggle that's exactly you did you you gave me the word for it you gave me the word for it thank you 